Hi, I am Mrs. Bhavani from NES High School, Bond of Best. I have prepared my short film on the concept, the Beyoncé Force and the Archimedes Principle, the lesson of Standard 8. This short film has been prepared to participate in Now Nesman Science Education Short Film Festival 2021. Students, you know that when we throw a ball upwards, the ball moves upward direction due to the muscular force. After some time, when the muscular force becomes zero, the ball moves downwards due to the gravitational force act on it. Students, let's do an experiment. Here I take an empty plastic bottle and I close the mouth of the bottle very tightly. Now I place the bottle in water. Now you can see the bottle is floating on the surface of the water. Now I push the bottle downwards. The moment I leave my hand, it comes upwards. This experiment shows that is a force which acts in the opposite direction of the gravitational force and which brings the bottle upward. This force acts upward direction. This force is said to be beyond the force. Beyond the force makes the objects float. Do all the objects which put in water float? Let's do one experiment. Here I have taken three bottles. The first bottle is empty. The second bottle is filled with water and the third bottle is filled with the sand. Now, I place each bottle inside the water. Let's see what will happen. Students, as you can see, the empty bottle floats on the surface of the water and the bottle which is filled with water which floats inside the water and the bottle which is filled with the sand that sinks. As the weight of each bottle is different, the gravitational force acts on each bottle that is also different. In the first case, the empty bottle, the weight is negligent so that less the gravitational force acts on it. So more Beyoncé force acts on the object compared to the gravitational force. So it makes the bottle floats on the surface of the water. In the second case, the bottle which filled with the water, here the gravitational force that is downward force and the Beyoncé force, the upward force, the both are balanced. Due to this, the bottle is floating inside the water. And in the third case, as more weight, more gravitational force acts on it compared to the POC force. So, the gravitational force makes the object sink. Students, let's do the other experiment. Here I have taken a glass full of water, a lemon and some salt. Now, I place the lemon inside the water. You can see the lemon sinks inside the water. Now, I mix some salt. As salt dissolving in the water, the density of the water can increase. You can see the lemon flows. It is coming upward direction due to the beyond sea flows. So students, from this experiment we can understand when the density of the water is increased, then the beyond sea flows acts on the object that also increase. Let's do one more experiment. Here I have taken two different objects with the same weight. The first object is hydrobic coin and the second one is the metal sheet. But the measurement of the both objects are same. But as the radius of this sheet is increased, the volume of the sheet is more than the coin. Now let's see what will happen when I place these two objects in the water. Now you can see the five coin that is in the water and the metal sheet which is floating. Even though their weights are same, due to the more volume, more buoyancy force act on the object, so it makes the object float. Let's see how to measure the buoyancy force. Here I have taken an ion bar. Let's check the weight of this ion bar in air and in water. The weight of this ion bar in air is 360 grams. Now let's see in water. In 
water it shows 190 gram students the same object it shows two different measurement in air and in water this difference due to the buoyancy force act on the object so the buoyancy force act on this object is equal to the weight of the object in air minus the weight of the object in water subtracting this we got 170 So the buoyancy force act on this object when the object immerses in water that is 170 newton. Let's do one more experiment. Here I have taken a jar which is filled with water. Now let's check the weight of this jar along with water. The weight of this jar along with water that is 1.150 kg. Now let's place this ion bar inside the water. and we place an object inside the water the water gets displaced now you can see uh, the volume of the ion bar that means the water the ion bar occupy the place inside the jar so that means water gets displaced from the jar now let's check the measurement of the displaced water now let's remove this ion bar from the water Let's check the weight of this remaining water. So it shows the weight that is 895 gram. The difference between these two weights gives you the weight of the displaced water. The weight of the displaced water is equal to the buoyancy force act on this object. This was first discovered by the great Greek scientist Archimedes. Let's see the Archimedes principle. The Archimedes principle states that when an object partially or fully immersed in a fluid, the force of buoyancy acts on the object in the upward direction. The measurement of this force is equal to the weight of the water displaced by the object. First question is why does an iron nail sink and a ship float? Yes, due to its more volume. Your second question is. Why it is easy to swim in sea water? The correct answer is as its high density. So students, today we have learned about the buoyancy force, the factor affecting the buoyancy force, as well as the Archimedes principle. Thank you.